Hi everybody, this is Debbie. My goodness, it has been a long time since I've sat in front of this camera. Um, yeah, I've haven't really done a tutorial since. Hmm, it's been a few months, and unfortunately, my Instagram account is showing it. I've lost like almost a hundred followers, maybe more, since then, and I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna try to get back on the horse. Um, so today I am going back to the very basics, only two bars wide. I know. Can you believe it? I mean, how many ways can you place bands on, you know, two bars? Well, I gave it a shot and I'm calling this one Revival because I need to revive my account. So this is what it looks like without any beads. I think it's interesting. I mean, this side and this side, the zigzag is the same, but the way the pink bands go and the way the black bands go are a little different. So, it's interesting, maybe? Hmm? And then I did it in all like the LE type bands, the cylindrical type, and I put a little bead on it. I think this is really pretty. And before I forget, this uh, a full looms length will probably be too big for your wrist. This has 22 beads on it. And the beads, if you do beads, are go on this angle. And on this one I used 22 on my little wrist. And you can see there's a, sorry about, my dog jumps up and it's, claws do that even though we keep them trimmed and ground I know it looks terrible so anyways yeah this this especially I guess because of the zigzags it just makes for a longer a longer bracelet and then this one I experimented around with bands and I just love 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 how it turned out is that cute I think it is anyways I just love the way the um can you see the pattern of the white bands I just love how it looks. Very interesting. And that's what it looks like on this side. So yeah, I just, it's a... Isn't that cute? I just think it's fun. Yeah, I'm very pleased with how this came out. So hopefully this is a true revival. Hallelujah! <laughs> okay, before we get going, um... Well... Let's just get going. How's that? The A colored bands are the ones I'm going to do zigzag, are white here, and I'm going to be using the octopus layer. And I've put beads on half of them. And I'll quickly show you, even though um, Chidaro underscore bling, she shows how to do it. So you just take thin wire, um, sturdy string, or even, oh, you know that um, filament type, not filament, um, that pla plastic like wire, not wire, but threading that strands of beads come on. When you take the beads off of that, you can, you know, just get a segment about this long. I know this is hard to see. And you just fold it in half, drop your um, band on so it's down here then you bring the two ends close together feed your bead through it and the hole make sure both see how both ends go through see that and then just pull it like that super simple if you have to force it you'll your um threading mechanism will probably cut through and break the band so don't over force it. If it is tight what I do is the minute I get the little bit end of the um, band through I grab onto that and slide it and, and I do not continue. You don't you don't want to pull hard on this or you'll just cut through kind of like you know they use it around people you know you know what I'm talking about. You don't want to use that and cut this in half. So anyways, let's get going. I'm using these for the A color. Um, the 
B color, well I used, um, actually I did use two different colors. The B color I used the, the um, 300 count, I think it's the lime green maybe, with the white on the inside. And this side is the uh, Sweets 300 count, the same color. So on this side, the B color, what am I going to use? Hmm. I'm going to use this. It is the um, Persian hot pink, I think. I know they've got two or three colors, and the pinks like this are almost identical. And then I'm using um, these. These are a uh, one of the silicone. Silicon. They don't have a whole lot of stretch, but this is just going to be just a single chain up this side, so not to worry. Just remember, you're probably not going to want to do a full double looms length. In fact, let me show you this piece. Okay, I did double thick extension, but this is the length, okay, of one looms, you know, one loom length. When I put that on my wrist, I'll show you. I know, I'm taking a long time before I'm getting going. See where my fingers are? Here and here. It goes like literally halfway around my wrist, the one length, okay? So this is an easy one to um, make to fit everybody's wrist. So let's start out. I pop one here for later and we'll start by going like this. If you're not doing the bead just you know zigzag all the way up with um, whatever bands you choose but if you use the bead put it in this position. And then I'll go back and do this. Always remember to push your bands down as you go to have room for the other ones and make sure you don't twist them when they're especially when they're the dual layer. Let me see. So I hope everybody's holiday season was wonderful. I'm doing this with today is January 5th, 2016. I had the most wonderful Christmas with my six children, my husband, and my granddaughter. It's just as perfect as could be. But boy, was I tired. I'm still tired. I'm still in the jammies. I didn't even get out of those today. I didn't even get out of bed till like six. I couldn't. Well, my dog woke me up early, so messed up my sleep. So. I just couldn't get up today. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go off camera and finish placing these because it's kind of boring just to watch me do this over and over again. And I'll be right back. So here we have it. And you will see that I stopped here and I still have you know, this much. Um, most people probably want to do one or two more, <coughs> depending, but I def <coughs> depending on this, excuse me, <coughs> I just drank some soda and it went down the wrong way. Depending on the size of your wrist, um, I just, you know, I've got kind of a puny, puny wrist. It doesn't really match the rest of me. <laughs> when people, doctors sitting across from me, they think I'm so small until I stand up. <laughs> okay. Step number two, your B colored band are going to be triangles, just like this, all the way up. Simple, simple. I mean, how complicated is a two bar wide design, right? So you are going to do this all the way up. I just don't like to get these. Dual layered bands twisted because then they're harder to untwist when you pull it off the loom. So you know what? 
since I have to mess around and make sure these are on properly, I'm going to go off camera again. So that was an easy band placement. And the end of it looks like this. Lastly, we're just going to do just a single chain Oops. right up the left side of your loom. Ugh, my hands are so uncoordinated today. Maybe because it's cold and rainy out and I live in Southern California and there's a song from the 60s that says it never rains in Southern California. But boy, don't they warn you. Pours, man, it pours. Something along those lines. Yeah, it's been raining all day long and at times quite heavily. Which, anybody who watches the news knows that Southern California has been suffering a serious drought. So come on, rain. We need you. I just think they need to make some big, huge pipeline from the Illinois, Mississippi area and divert all that flooding rain out here. You know, if it was big enough and they had enough of them, it wouldn't flood there because it would make a river. We could make rivers to the west. And then we'd have water. They wouldn't have too much water. And we'd all be happy. Okay. Almost done. And since I used, probably should have used, you know what? I'm going to cap it off with the heavier band. So therefore, I'm just going to go back here. You don't have to do this if you don't want. I'm just going to change my extension band to a blue one. I just switched it up so it would be the same on both sides. I apologize for the rough edit from that last transition, but I had spun around and went straight on to looming back, and I totally messed up. So I'm back to going here, turning, have everything on, okay, the, the triangle bands, and then this single row up here, like that, single chain row. Now we'll turn it around. And the correct way to do this, I'll hopefully remember to edit out the wrong portion. <laughs> and you're going to just single chain this top band all the way. This is a very basic design. Nothing really difficult about it. No headstands required. It just seems to take so much longer when the camera's on. I feel like I've been doing this for 10 minutes. But I'll show you the next part and then go off camera. Since this is kind of all redundant. <coughs> Oops, make sure that goes back on.
that done. We're going to go back and we're going to take the tip of the triangle. See how this, the, my pink ones make a triangle? And you should use stretchier bands for this. If not, just be you know gentle with the bands you have. Just take it over like that. Okay. Now, and if you do break one, fortunately, I mean it's you know it's real easy. I'll just show you. Like if say you broke this one broke, you would just you know. Take this, you know, take take these two pieces off. And you take this off, you know, take it off to here like this, right? And cut a new one. Put it on. I'm just showing you in case you break how easy it is. So you open those two back up. Oops, pop that back on. And then you've got these two pieces right here of this top one go back over like that. So fortunately if you do break one of these it's a very simple remedy. Just pay attention to how you take the bands off and, and you know put them back on the same way. Okay I'll go off camera and finish this. Be right back. Alrighty. That's how it looks. And lastly, we're just going to zigzag. It's pretty much a single chain run, um, just in a zigzag formation. You're going to reach under and you're just going to zigzag all the way up. Don't worry about the beads. If you chose to do beads, we can arrange those afterwards. I just don't like it when the colors get twisted. Okay, I'm very clumsy at this. So I'm going to go off camera and finish this, and I'll be back. And now we're just going to take it off the loom. I've already done it part way. And I apologize ahead of time because I just was totally sloppy with those octopus dual colored bands. And so, yeah, I'm going to go sit down while I'm watching TV and straighten those babies up. So we're going to grab, oops, stay on camera, Debbie. Grab this little guy that got kind of lost down here. Reach in, grab a clip, and finish taking it off the limb. Yeah, these are gonna, these um, purples are going to look, purple octopus look terrible. But, so don't look too closely here. Let's look at a pretty one. Look at this pretty one. <laughs> That's all nice and in shape. Yeah, I'm just going to have to spend some time untwisting these. Snapping them back into place. And some of them aren't going to be very agreeable. Anyhow, don't worry. Don't let that, you know, hinder you trying this design. And this too, you'll want to straighten these out if they get a little twisted. I don't know why they do, but they pop back into place nice and easily. So, give my revival a try. And be sure, if you like what you see, to subscribe here at Deb's Thing and give me a follow at Deb's Thing on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching and I apologize for my twisted bands. <laughs> see you later. Hi, I just wanted to pop in real quick. I've been working on straightening out the octopus bands. Not to with a whole lot of success. Probably not liking this color combo anymore. But one thing I wanted to tell you for those of you whose designs came out wonderful because you picked good band choices, you made good band choices, 
Um, see, like, this one's kind of sticking up a little bit. All you need to do is you just grab one end and just, just slide the band. You know, slide the bead along the band until it's, it's equal with the others. Okay? I just wanted to show you that real quick. Yeah, I'm not liking this very much. But maybe it'll photograph well. <laughs> Alright, see you later.